from Okio Mtata addressing CPK. What have you given us? Is it a monarchy or a republic? To more identities revealed. Which one of us in here has taken over? Who is next for impeachment in Kenya? Where Raila should go home? It is an embarrassment. Raila Odinga, Ametua Ibiza. Now we are so much surprised. We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derim. A defiant Isiolo governor by the name of Abdi Ibrahim Guyo. He refused and he refused to comply and, and to appear before the Senate after so many calls for him to appear for questioning. And remember that Governor Guyo has skipped multiple Senate appearances, including before the County Public Accounts Committee and several other key committees prompting calls for police intervention to enforce compliance. Just look at our leaders. They cannot even comply for simple Senate questioning. Take a look at what he had to say. His Excellency, the Governor of Isiolo County, Honorable Abdi Ibrahim Guyo, what is your message to the people of Isiolo? Uh, thank you, Moha. I, I want to tell the people of Isiolo, you've had uh, rumors going around uh, social media that the Governor has been arrested. Uh, there is nothing as such as uh, governor of county of Isiolo. I'll continue complying with the Senate summons, but I'm not ready to answer to political questions from Senator Fatuma. But anything pertaining to the audit query of Auditor General and any institution which is mandated by the Constitution to oversight me, I'll continue submitting them. Thank you, Omar. During the Gen Z revolution, so many churches were so quiet. Even though people are being killed in the streets, young people, Kenyans, were being killed in the streets. But it seems like these days, pastors are tired, churches are tired, preachers are tired, men of God are tired. And just listen to what this uh, preacher had to say about the current regime. <laughs> And this is what is going to happen. Matthew 7, Tunasema, For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be used to you. Unajua hii serikali ilingia katika utawara kwa maombi. Na mungu diye hakimu wa serikali hii. Na kwa sababu wametumia kipimo cha kuhukumu. Sasa wameweka kipimo cha kuhukumiwa. Na utaona hukumu ya mungu kwa sababu wamejiwekea kipimo wenyewe. Judgment will be set upon them with the same measure they have used. The same measure will be used upon them. Praise the name of the living God. So the question of today is, has the Gen Z revolution, the Kenyan revolution, reshaped the politics in this country? Has it changed everything? And how we see our politicians and how we see the politics in this country. Just listen to this. Mm -hmm. And our young generation have led, in my view, what we call the online revolution in this country. Mm. This is a generation that, in my view, kicked Uru out of Twitter, Twitter yeah. when it started speaking nonsense and not making sense yeah, yeah. to their lives. And this is a generation that is doing a revolution against William Ruto mm. in terms of exposing him for his double speak. Yeah. They are keeping him to check. They are calling him out for his mismanagement of our economy. They are documenting. So probably, they believe, maybe somebody by design believes that mm. one way to respond to this revolutionary attitude of our young people mm. is to make sure that a majority of them don't have access to education. To education mm. Right? Then maybe they will not be able to use these tools that they are using mm. to hold us to account. The crime rate has been increasing every day in Kenya, where people have resorted to stealing in order to survive. This story comes all the way from Kakamega County in Malaba, where thieves went to steal. And 
They stole computers and other things and leaving behind a safe with over 4.3 million Kenya shillings. Like where are we heading to as a country? Take a look at this. Many Kenyans are very disappointed with Raila Odinga, the former Prime Minister of Kenya, after he went on to support Adani taking over the International Airport in Kenya, JKIA. And the ground is hostile, man. Like, people are very, very disappointed. And just listen to what people in the streets said about this. We have disowned one Raila Molo Dinga. Because Raila Dinga cannot... I visit a press conference, I love when I say my Adani is okay. That is an embarrassment. Raila Odinga, I'm at Ibiza. Now we are so much surprised that Raila Odinga has not been fighting for the rights of the people of Kenya. He has been fighting for his own rights. Because Adani, I'm at our own airport. Adani, I'm at work. I'm to a ship. This ship cannot work anywhere. Adani is taking us our power generation activities. What is so special about this guy that we have so many industrialized people in this country that can run these things? And then one individual, one Indian person, is taking all our interests. Moyo University has had land disputes over the years. And an MP, a member of parliament, has stolen 13 acres. 13 acres of Moyo University land. Just listen to what this politician had to say about what is really happening on the ground. Listen to this. The issue about Moyo University is governance. Number two, Mr. Speaker, it is very disheartening that more university with more than 3,000 hectares of land, which one of us in here has taken over and is stealing that land without paying more university. Truth be told. Number three, the assets, the assets of more university. The senator of Busia County, Okia Omtata, visited the CPK, Communist Party of Kenya, and he went to talk to them and tell them why William Samuel Ruto is a threat to the national uh, project and why the president of Kenya, Ruto, should be removed from power immediately. Just listen to what Okia Omtata had to say. You are cracking your minds to find a formula for making Kenya a viable republic. A nation that could serve everybody. So, after the constitution was passed, he was asked by a group of people, what have you given us? Is it a monarchy or a republic? And he answered, it is a republic if you can keep it. At independence, Kenya was declared a republic. Even today in its name, we call it the Republic of Kenya. A republic is a government of law. A republic is a government where public office is used to serve the people, not to enrich the office holder. The debate should be about how do we get rid of Ruto before he gets rid of this country. That's, that's what we have. It's an existential threat we are dealing with. And so, that's why we must not lose focus. And the focus is to get rid of Ruto, like yesterday. An urban spoken word artist and also a human rights defender by the name of Brian Silways. He went to inject to party goras and just see and hear and watch how things unfolded. Hey, hey, hey. 
after Gachagua's impeachment, the former deputy president of Kenya. So who is next? Who is next to be impeached in Kenya? Just listen to what this comrade had to say about this. Wewe tangula, mina kuambia wewe ndiyo next in victim. Wewe ndiyo next victim. Walai bila wewe ndiyo next victim. Sahi nimesikia hapo wabunge wa ODM wanajipanga. Wanataka ku impeach. Wewe kama eh, speaker unataka ku impeachiwa waweke utiende ya molo. Yo utaenda. Hata wewe kimani chungwa utabadilishwa hapo kama majority leader. Utaenda. Malipo ni hapa hapa Kenya. We all know that Kithure Kindiki has been appointed as the new deputy president of Kenya. But while the Genesis were protesting, he had all the power to stop all the bloodshed, all the killings, all the abductions, but he never did. Just listen to this. Another person who was shot outside parliament has been identified, guys. This is uh, Eric Shieni who was supposed to graduate from the UN in September with a business administration degree. He had just uh, finished doing his uh, CPA 6. Uh, he was living in South Bay with his brother and uh, his life was cut short. Uh, um, his brother says if you want to contact the family, support them in any way, you can reach them on 0702 281 381 0702 Let's give him a round of applause for expressing himself. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.